I actually didn't hold any HBAR before this event, but I was bullish on HBAR anyway. If you're bullish on XRP for the kind of the same reasons, you would be by association bullish on Stella or XDC or HBAR or whatever, right? But I never really sort of held any per se. When I saw the news about the tokenization, I threw a little bit in and I made a fair bit of profit in the pump, even though I didn't take the profit, I still have the tokens with me. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why I didn't sell and why I think it is now more bullish than ever before to hold HBAR. Of course, HBAR holders have known this all this time. And even this little bit of, uh, I don't know, pseudo fake news, sort of faux pas calamity thing that happened a couple of days ago, hasn't shaken the faith of absolutely anybody in HBAR, and that's a good thing. So first of all, there was quite a fair bit of misinformation that went around. A lot of the facts were kind of massaged to make them look better than they were. And I think that what we see before us is just the market correcting to the news as the news corrected and just return to what it should be. Now, uh, what, three days ago, you know, the value of HBAR in terms of dollars was just under nine cents, right? And all of a sudden the news came out and it did a kind of a 50 to 55% pump, which was, I think, a reasonable pump to a correct piece of news, which is the fact that one of the largest financial institutions that do this sort of thing in the UK had tokenized real world assets on HBAR, right? That in and of itself is incredibly bullish because what it signifies is that these companies are testing this stuff out, right? They've picked one fund and they've tokenized it. That's the beginning of the future. So going forward, there are hundreds, if not thousands of funds that are gonna be tokenized in this very way. The company that did this is going to tokenize a lot more funds, that's the first thing. The fact that they're the biggest organization in the UK that does this, means that other organizations in the UK are going to look to do the same thing in the coming future. They're gonna be looking at the success of this tokenization to tokenize other funds. And it's real world assets. It's not gonna stop at these funds. It's gonna move on to things like real estate, uh, futures, all sorts of things are gonna to come to the platform and be tokenized on HBAR, right? That's the first thing to think about. Now, this happened. This frenzy here, I think, was the BlackRock effect, okay? So people catching on to the fact that, or being put under the impression that BlackRock was involved. So, you know, if that were true, then that's incredibly bullish because it kind of like, you know, it's groundbreaking. Now, another positive thing is we can see that HBAR actually responds to news. If that was XRP, I mean, XRP has had way larger collaborations than what's happening now. And we didn't see this kind of pump in XRP, right? Again, HBAR isn't in court with the SEC. So they're more sensitive to real collaborations like this one, right? So the more of this stuff that comes out in the press and actually happens in real life, the more of this stuff we're going to see. So brace yourselves for some serious volatility. And of course, we're going to see this as well, the dumps. The first one here, I believe, was just, you know, the market cooling off if something blows up like this. You're going to get people who put leverage and they get liquidated by the system, you know, the whales, some of the exchanges, etc. Or just people taking profits. Maybe some people have been sitting on that uh, for a few years now and they finally hit their, the broke even and sold off. That happens too, right? And then that finishes and then goes up again, you know, as more people become aware of the stuff. And then you have this dump here, which was probably related to the fact that some people pointed out that BlackRock might not have had anything directly to do with this. You know, again, some people alleged that HBAR Foundation themselves dumped their, you know, authorities behind the scenes, people that knew that they weren't really working directly with BlackRock. Uh, but, you know, they were in the know and they realized that people thought they were a direct BlackRock collaborator. So they, maybe they thought, hey, let, let's quickly dump here because if this news comes out, this is going to dump. So they dumped before you did, right? Now, I purchased around here-ish, right? So I could have taken profits. At that point, I would have been maybe 60% in profit. Um, the whole market was, or if you were from here, then you were at like 110% in profit. Most people maybe didn't sell. 
you know, this is a big dump from someone large, probably. And a lot of people are now stuck at this level, right? But that's not a bad thing. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So what's happened now is the market has corrected to this level, which is the real news level. This is the fake news level up here. This is the real news level up here. So I'm kind of break even at the moment. So, you know, as it dips a little bit, I'm slightly minus, maybe minus two, minus three percent. As it goes up here, I'm about, you know, plus two, plus three percent. So I'm kind of at break even, which is great because I think that this is now the new baseline going forward in the old market. Unless something bad happens and, you know, Bitcoin drags us back down here. I don't think we're going back down here. Even with BlackRock themselves coming out to say, hey, we didn't have anything to do with this directly. It didn't correct back to eight cents, did it? It stayed up here because H bar supporters, I don't know what you guys call yourself, <laughs> recognize that this is a good thing. H bar has been used to tokenize real world assets. So it stayed up here at that 50 to 60% pump. You know, if this bit never happened, right? If this BlackRock fake news part never happened and it just pumped up 50, 60%, everybody would be jubilating right now right? Everyone will be happy. But people are sad because they saw their portfolios double and then, you know, get 25%, 50% wiped off again. But people stop thinking that they bought here or even lower and now they're 60-70% up in just a few hours. So I think that this, you know, was a good thing. I'm happy that this corrected because that's unsustainable. The only unfortunate thing, of course, is the people that bought here will now create a big resistance, right? Such that if we get another pump, best believe it's going to be rejected pretty hard <laughs> around that 18 cent, sort of 18.1 cent line, right? As people that are disgruntled and upset get their money back, right? Moral of the story is don't buy into ridiculous pumps. If something is pumped nearly 100%, man, don't get into it, man. Even if it's real news, chances are it's going to cool off a little bit and do something like this. And this is a safer place to get in, even though it's still quite high, than this. Don't be the exit liquidity for liquidations, man. Anyway, not financial advice. Bullish on HBAR. Shout out to HBAR Foundation. Shame about the fake-ish news. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.